The long motto call. From hell to victory. No missile too difficult. Duty first. Joined the Army in May of 1993. Being the first one in my family ever to be in the United States Army, I had dropped out of high school, I took the GED, didn't have a job, and so I needed some kind of legit and purposeful meaning to my life back then. I started hanging around with the wrong crowd. I was only 145 pounds, a little bean pole, but I was the biggest smack talker in the world, so I would get into a lot of fights. Early 90s in Los Angeles. I mean, there was not a lot of good things, a lot of gangs, so not, not fancy at all. It got to a point where it got pretty bad. Drive-by shootings, things like that were common. So there was really two ways. I know this sounds cliche. Either I'm gonna end up in jail or I'm gonna get killed. And so that was the turning point where I felt, I, if I don't get out of here ASAP, that's where I'm gonna end up at. When that happened, what I'm thinking is, I don't want my family to get hurt. So how do I remove myself and get them out of there? the quickest. So I walked in the recruiter's office and I said, I want to leave ASAP, something aviation, where do I sign? So back then they gave me the MOS 67 Tango, which is a Blackhawk mechanic. And as quickly as that, I couldn't identify a Blackhawk back then, but I took it. I was like, I, I like it. Here I am, 29 and a half years later. It's been a pretty cool experience to meet some of the people we've met, people that are like you see on TV only, you know, things like that. Stand on the field where people play professional football. My favorite part of all this is that I hope that through all those efforts that we're genuinely uh, bringing positive light to the military. I had already kind of made up my mind that I was going to retire this year because I hit 30 years. I'm looking forward to getting into whatever I'm going to do for work and kind of learning how to be a civilian. I have no idea what I'm going to do yet, but either way, it's going to be not in the Army, and therefore I am looking forward to that transition just because I don't know what I don't know because I haven't done it before, but I'm excited about it. Sergeant Major Serrano. I mean, been in a bunch of years, helped the Army countless times, but you and your family have been through a lot, so you can make this profession the best profession in the world. And I appreciate it, Chandra appreciates it. You have made everyone better. I can't say that enough. You, Miss Amber, the girls, thank you for what you've done. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to everybody. Not everyone that you know as a peer can be your boss but I've appreciated this time with you being my boss. I feel like I owe you a lot and anything that you need, we're there for you. All right, love you, man. Thank you. Sergeant Major Serrano, uh, on behalf of Colonel McCarthy and the soldiers of the Devil Brigade, we just wanna say thank you. Thank you for the support you've provided Devil Brigade, whether it was deployed or stateside. We wish you and your family all the very best as you engage in your future endeavors. Hey, what's up, Al? Uh, how's it going? I know you're in a room full of folks, uh, you know, family, friends, and distinguished guests. To come pay your respects as you get ready to transition. Well, look, brother, you've earned it. Um, and you've earned it going out working as a division sergeant major. Um, that's a huge accomplishment. So definitely proud of you. I appreciate you, and you know, friends forever, brother. I'm always here if you need anything from me. You and Amber and the kids. You all, you know, enjoy retirement. All right, brother, take care. So I'm Major, on the professional side, I want to thank you for your framework of leadership. You're a very positive leader. You're very poised. 
And I want to personally thank you from a Sergeant Major perspective for your deliberate and direct candor. Candor that I needed and I think that candor that every Sergeant Major and every leader needs in this organization. And I think you're the ultimate team builder. Al, on a personal note, brother, I, I love being around you, your positive energy. I've always learned something from every conversation and I look forward to continuing our friendship here in the future. God bless you and your family. If you ever need anything from Team Rabia or Team Durable, I'm always available. Duty first, people always, all else follows. Victory. I already know I will never fly in a Black Hawk helicopter again in the United States Army, ever. You know, that's 30 years that I've been doing that. Today will be the very last time I climb in a helicopter and climb out of a helicopter, and, but it is bittersweet because I know it's gonna be the last time.